I wanted to give my Wrangler a little more aggressive engine sound, so I met up with my friend Ryan and I installed the Red Rock 4x4 cold air intake. If you want to do it, here is how. Grab a 10 and an 8mm socket wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and an Allen key set. First thing you're going to do is take off the old intake by loosening the hose clamps and removing the two 10mm bolts holding the intake to the fan shroud. After that, pull the assembly up and away from the vehicle and unplug the factory IAT sensor located at the bottom of the intake tube. I was a little nervous doing this because I did not want to snap the sensor. There's a little clip that you can undo with a flathead. After that, you turn the sensor and then pull it to get it out. It ended up being more solid than I gave it credit for. You can then slide the PCV hose off the factory airbox and pull the airbox out. If you've never pulled an airbox out before, you may think that it's screwed in, but it's not. You just have to use some force and yank it up. It's just held in by plastic nubs going into rubber gaskets. The next thing you need to do is assemble the new heat shield using the six supplied nuts and screws. Then add the screws and spacers on so you can mount the shield in the factory position. Then you need to remove the 8mm screw holding the fan shroud to the radiator. Hold on to that screw because you will be using it to mount the new heat shield in. The next step is to take your new heat shield and slide it right into the factory position and tighten the bolts. It does help to have a friend with long arms to get in those hard to reach spots. Once that is done, you can put the rubber gaskets on the heat shield. Actually looks just like the picture. Now it's time to put the new intake in. Put your IAT sensor in the spot given underneath. Just wedge it in there. Then install the coupler onto the intake and the throttle body and secure that with some hose clamps. Reinstall the PCV hose onto the new intake tube and secure that with a clamp too. I agree. Then install your new filter and clamp that down. After that, resecure the coolant overflow hose to the fan shroud using the supplied hose tie downs. And that's it, you're done. Hey, all right. Now, sit back for a little before and after. Sounds pretty good. 